Hi, my name is Maz and here's a quick way to post your first sound. First off, you need to add a sound bank and afterwards you can add events. To add sound banks or events, you can use the wise picker. To access the wise picker, you go to window and all the way down to wise picker. So to add a sound bank, you expand the sound banks default work unit, head into general and we'll start with a general sound bank, which contains sounds that are used throughout the entire game. We'll add the sound bank to the general sound bank's game object. So simply drag the general sound bank onto the general sound bank's game object in the hierarchy and release. If you look in the inspector, you'll find an AK bank component. In the wise adventure game, all events are supposed to be posted in start. So to play these events, you need to load the sound bank before start is called. If you select the load on property, you'll see the start option is selected. To load the sound bank before start, you simply need to select the awake option. But notice the load on property is now set to mixed. This is because you can add multiple functions. So let's deselect the start option as we'll only need to load the sound bank once. And in the button, you can see that the bank name is set to general. This is automatically assigned when you drag it from the wise picker onto a game object. Let's add a sound. So click the scene view, select the player in the hierarchy and with the mouse inside the scene view, press F. As such, we'll be looking at the location where the player starts. Let's add an event from the general sound bank. So go to the project view and in the search bar, search for campfire and drag the 301 campfire into the scene view. Place it so it's above ground. This time, instead of using the wise picker, let's just try to add the component. And for playing an event, we can add the AK event component. So click on the add component button, write AK event and enter. If you look in the AK event, the trigger on describes when the event will be posted and start is correct. And because we didn't use the wise picker, we need to assign an event. So click the event name, go to events, ambient, general, and double click the ambient campfire play. Let's try it out. So in the top, press play. Notice that the sound is fixed at the game object's position. And even when we change the position of the game object, the sound will follow. That's it. If you want to learn more about how to use WISE in Unity, check out the WISE 301 certification.